Hi, this is Wendy. I've come to share with you today a small journal that I made. I was working on it for a little bit and I've made it for my friend who uh, fell in love with it when she saw the process that I was doing. So it is just a, just a small, I don't even know what the size is, but you can tell by my hands, I guess. Uh, I covered it in a fabric and you'll be you'll be surprised to hear what I actually made this out of. I saw a video on YouTube and oh gosh, now I can't remember I can't remember her name. Anyways, I will post it below, but she had suggested making journal covers out of Amazon Prime envelopes. So these uh yeah, I, I get a million of these, I'm sure. And so what I did was I just cut it in half here and folded it. And so I would, then I would have two journal covers, bonus. And so then I would just, fold, I, I covered it in fabric and folded it and voila, this is what you get. Uh, another friend of mine had said to me, it's like one of those squishy books that you buy for babies, but it's for adults. And it really does make that kind of a um, plasticky sound. So anyways, that's what I did. So this is the cover and I made a little card that I've been kind of going crazy with these little cards with the acetate in the bottom and then I just put a little bit of lace in between I sandwiched it in between so that kind of goes in the top pocket here and uh, so there's a little bit of a bling there I used sorry silk to close it and this uh, of course the uh, the bling comes off that you can take that off and so as you can see I just covered that plastic envelope with fabric and then I used fabric tack to adhere it and then I sewed around it so and then I just put some of Tim Holtz wallflower paper in the front and the back and so then the actual insert, well, it's just on an elastic, so you can pull it out. And when the journal is completely written in, you can have, you can make another one and put another and just use it as a reusable uh, cover. So anyways, let's go in. Uh, there's a couple of journal, journal cards in here. And I used a little bit of burlap for tabs. And so when I was actually taking the strings out to make them smaller, I gathered them up and tied them up and I used them as a little accent on the side of, of a pocket or two in here. This is another little envelope tuck that I made. You can slide something in there. So a little place for journaling. Did a little bit of stenciling, a little bit of collaging, some paper ruffles, more stenciling, a little journal card, burlap. I love this burlap. Here's another little tag, and some more eph ephemera, another card that I had made out of. Um, project life cards, a little collage on that. And a little bit of sewing. This is a, another little tuck spot. So lots of places to write. And my girlfriend said that she would like to use it as a place where she can plan her garden this year. So she's going to use it as a gardening journal, which I thought was kind of cool. This is the center, so there's a little bit of ephemera in there. And these are Tracy Fox stamp pages. And uh, 
here's a, one of these acetate. I, I made them out of the Project Life cards and sort of ripped, I put two together and I ripped them and then I sandwiched the acetate in between those two ripped cards and then I just sewed around it and did a little bit of a collage on there. So I think they're kind of cool. I really like them. I should actually make some more because it was kind of a fun process. So keep going. Here's another one that I had made with the acetate and I had these on the way to my mailbox. There were beautiful little flowers. I don't even know what these are called. So I, I picked them and I think they're actually just a weed, but <laughs> I think they're pretty in there. So another little tuck spot, place to journal, all kinds of places to hide things and write. I made these, I have this Tim Holtz stamp and die set and I really love making those little tickets. I think those are fun. It's another journaling card that I collaged and put in there for her. And here we go, a little flip. Here's a little got straw paper that I got from um, Roxy Creations. And here's another one of those um, those little burlap accents there. Kind of fun. And then here's another um, little acetate pocket, I guess. I had uh, made... It, um, no, you know what? I think this was... I think this was an envelope, a window envelope, maybe. I can't remember. <laughs> so anyways, I think it's pretty. And um, yeah, that's that's it, uh, Bonnie's little journal. I hope you love it, Bon. Thanks, I'll talk to you soon, bye.